Welcome, Honorable Garnett Ganes, MP of Sherwood Park, Alberta. Welcome in Oxygen Talk Show. Well, thank you. It's great to be with you today and appreciate the opportunity to chat with you and your listeners. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, MP uh, Janice contacted Oxygen Talk Show to comment on the terroristic act that happened in Egypt on November 2nd and caused seven deaths and tens of innocent uh, injured people. Thank you for contacting us and your comment on this uh, accident. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to offer my condolences uh, to the victims and the families. Uh, I know uh, this is something that is deeply felt. Uh, not just by those who, who directly knew the victims, but by the whole community. Uh, it, it, and this is in the context of uh, wider and, and ongoing persecution. We've, we've seen a lot of different attacks against the Coptic community, uh, and it is important for us to express our, our good wishes, our thoughts and prayers to the community, but also to stand up and, and take concrete action. Uh, and, uh, and that means fighting extremism uh, through uh, different different mechanisms in the past. For example, Canada had an Office of Religious Freedom uh, that was created under the previous government that was engaged in helping to promote an understanding of pluralism and tolerance, being involved in, uh, in developing educational materials. Uh, in, uh, in Pakistan is one example, but the, the same principle could apply elsewhere. And I think it's important for us as, as uh, parliamentarians to be in dialogue with the government of Egypt. Uh, I know uh, we, we do see positive signals from the government of Egypt uh, in terms of expressions of solidarity with the, with the Coptic community, uh, but we do need to ask them to ensure uh, that, that the, the, the facts on the ground are changing in terms of security, that it's not just uh, the expression of solidarity, but that there's, that there's real action to ensure that Christians can live in security, because up till now, uh, the dynamics have, have just not been to, uh, to have that happening in the way that it should. Oh, yes. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, MP Genesis, that the Coptic Christians uh, have been the target uh, of Muslim Brotherhood and ISIS members uh, since 2013, since um, the Muslim Brotherhood have been out uh, of, uh, of Egypt uh, after they proved that their evil agenda against the Egyptians and the minorities. Uh, what is your message to the Coptic Christians? Well, uh, uh, my, my message to the Coptic Christians, again, uh, condolences, uh, and, uh, and, and I, I greatly admire the, the courage that we've seen from, from the Coptic Christians. I'm, a, I'm a, a Christian myself, and I see how uh, the church has uh, grown, has thrived in the midst of persecution throughout the ages, uh, that, uh, that, that uh, it, it is in the context of terrible crimes committed against Christians that, that Christians have, have uh, been able to stand their ground and demonstrate their love, their goodwill, uh, and, the, uh, and the potency of their, of their philosophy. And uh, so I, uh, I have great admiration for the courage of the Coptic community uh, as, they, as they endure these things and as they, uh, as they continue to, to be strong in their faith in the midst of them. Uh, actually, I just wanted to mention that the Coptic Christians didn't make any single violence act in uh, facing of the uh, terrors and uh, uh, the, the violence they face from uh, these terroristic groups like ISIS and Muslim Brotherhoods. So this is something to mention in the history that they never even uh, fight back by any violent uh, act. Um, yeah. uh, recently, the CRA uh, hold the, the Islamic Society of North America, ISNA, for uh, uh, its financing to terroristic group in Pakistan and India. India. Uh, do you think the current government of Justin Trudeau uh, take uh, the required precaution to prevent the logistic and financial support to these uh, terroristic groups in many parts of the world, like Middle East, for example? Well, we have seen some changes in terms of, uh, of security legislation. Uh, the Conservatives had a bill in the last Parliament, Bill C-51, uh, that was designed to respond to these emerging threats and issues. And the, the Liberals have passed a, a new bill that waters down some of those things. Now, the, the original Bill C-51, there, there were some people who criticized it, but uh, it, it put in place important things like uh, ensuring that different security agencies communicating well with each other uh, and, uh, and allowing 
uh, law enforcement agencies to, to intervene to disrupt potential terrorist uh, activity. Uh, and, and yet some of those provisions were watered down by a bill that this new government brought in. So we are concerned about that. We're concerned about the, the weakening of our security architecture in, in certain ways through this new, new legislation. Uh, we're also concerned about the impact of returning fi uh, fighters, terrorists who were involved in, uh, in the group ISIS or Daesh that has claimed responsibility for this, this recent attack in Egypt, yeah. uh, fighters who are coming back to Canada. We passed a motion in the House of Commons calling on the Liberals to finally present a plan to, um, to, to deal with and bring to justice people that have been involved in this, and they have a, a clock ticking now based on that parliamentary motion to actually bring forward that plan, and we'll evaluate it when it, when it comes. But if you look at the weakening of our security architecture, the, the border crossing, uh, the, the illegal border crossers, uh, the returning uh, f uh, foreign terrorists, I mean, these are all issues that, that we should be uh, attentive to as Canadians. And uh, I know Justin Trudeau likes to say that, uh, that, that you know, we, we shouldn't be afraid and that those who raise these concerns are peddling uh, fear. But I think, I think we need to be uh, responsible in, in ensuring our security. Uh, we shouldn't be fearful, but we need to be attentive to these issues and recognize that, uh, that our sec national security cannot be be taken for granted, and we need to, to make sure we're preserving a system that allows that to happen. Oh, oh, that's great. Uh, thank you very much for your time and your uh, very enlightened comments on, on this terroristic act, uh, MP uh, Garnet Jenis, and thank you very much for that, and we will sure we will meet you in another uh, interview or a phone call in Oxygen Talk Show. It's a pleasure to be with you today, and, and my best to you and your listeners. Uh, I have uh, really appreciated the opportunity to get to know the Coptic community since becoming a member of Parliament, uh, and I am uh, I am always so impressed by by your courage, by your quit Christian witness, and by your uh, your engagement with the community here in Canada. Thank you very much, and I really appreciate your call. Best wishes. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.